time to dish with D. That's me. We're going to do a little food prep today. So I thought I'd take you along with me and show you simple ways you can get ahead during the week. This is not a lot of meal prepping. This is prepping food to have ready during the week. If you work outside the home and you don't have all the time in the world, these are a few of the things that I do and I've done this before and, and you guys have seemed to like it. So I'm going to show you. I just, you don't need to see this because I think you guys know how to do a lot of these things, but it's more of an idea. So I did three chicken breasts in my Instant Pot. These are ready to go for during the week, whether it be for lunches, quick, like this. I'm going to be making a biscuit bake this week, so this chicken's ready to go. I want chicken salad, and I want some sliced chicken. It's ready to go. Don't have to cook it. It's done. One and done. Right now, I want to show you how I'm going to prep some little egg cups, mini quiches, whatever you want to call them. They're just, this is very basic. You need minimal ingredients, and I'm going to show you how to get it done. Let's get started. I have a lot going on today, but we have time to do this. So let me bring it down, and we'll get started. Now, since you guys know my oven is still on the fritz, hopefully it should be replaced this week. Yeah, I'm going to make it in my toaster oven. So instead of my muffin, my 12 muffin thing won't fit in there, but I could put them on the tray, and they should be good to go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray them with some non-stick butter spray. And I tend to use butter when it comes to breakfast. And just spray them. And you could use regular liners. You don't need even any liners. I like these because they pop right out. They're listed in my Amazon store if you're interested in looking at these. We, I wash them. They wash up beautifully. And I'm a big fan. You will see how easily they pop out. And you'll be like, oh, no wonder he likes them so much. So what I have here is a saute of peppers, onions, Canadian bacon, mushrooms, and spinach. I'm not gonna have to count the Canadian bacon because it'd be a point for all of it. I'm not gonna eat all 12 of them at once, so it's pretty much a zero point food. So you put at the bottom as little or as much as you want of the filling. And again, you want them plain, make them plain. You want just spinach, just make spinach. These are yours. You can put bacon, whatever your heart desires in these. These are just, I'm telling you, these are simple as anything. If you're like, D, you are right, these are simple. And I probably made too much filling, but it's fine. Be great for a scramble this week. I have like the tricolor pepper, so there's orange, yellow, and red. Make some pretty. And these will be zero points on, actually, these are going to be zero on all plan because I'm using egg beaters. So purple people, I mean green people, you can eat these for zero points too. That should be good. I don't want to put too much. A bit more in that one. Okay. Well, I'll the dog in because you know. You have your oven preheated to 400. Here is my cup of egg beaters or egg whites or whatever you want to call them. This should do all 12 of these perfectly. You just pour it. Your vegetables are seasoned, so you don't need to worry about anything else. You could put sun-dried tomatoes on these if you wanted, fresh tomatoes if you wanted. It's, like I said, it's all up to what you want to put in. You add. This is, it doesn't get, trust, trust me, it's going to be easier than this. There we go. A little. All right, like I said, see, 12, perfect. I have a little bit of cheese. There's not even enough here to even a pinch worth. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little Velveeta shreds on top. I'm not a huge cheese person, so cheese is not that important to me. But if you wanted to put cheese that you like, feta would be good. I guess I could have put feta, I have plenty of that, but. These are just a little bit to give it a little something, something. Not even enough to count. It's not that much. Okay. Now we're going to do a little, I'm gonna season the top with salt and pepper because you know, it'll bake it much better. Even though my vegetables were seasoned, it couldn't hurt. 
Okay, I'm gonna bake these. I'm not sure how long they're gonna bake because again, it's my toaster oven, but I will let you know when we come back. And we're gonna put some hard-boiled eggs in our Instant Pot and get those for the week as well. Being prepared is half the battle. Well, as our egg cups are baking, we're gonna get some celery prep for the week. I buy the hearts at the store because it's just the better part of the celery. So I'm just gonna grab one. Cut the end off. And the ends. And I'm gonna go in the sink and give it a wash. And then I'm gonna cut each one into um, nice little dipping portions. So this way, I want some ranch and celery. Celery's ready to go. I don't have to clean it because it's kind of yucky as you can see. So it needs to be clean. So this way I don't have to wait. It's ready to go. And I've been into celery lately and I don't know why. But that's my vegetable this week to um, dip. And let's, well, we make some homemade ranch to go with this celery, shall we? Because that's what we do on Sunday. We prep. We'll grab the ingredients for the ranch dressing and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get our eggs in our Instant Pot. I have about a dozen here. I'm going to put them in there for the 555 method. This way they're cooked for five minutes, released for five minutes, and in uh, ice water for five minutes. And then we will have a dozen hard boiled eggs ready to go for the week. It's food prep. That's, that's how you do it. Setting yourself up for success for the week. Okay, we hit pressure. We have to give it a five minutes. I pressure for five. Our valve is shut. All right, and let's wait for her to click over. There we go. Eggs will be done in a few. Make our dressing. We start with homemade buttermilk. This is my big or medium sized ball jar. I'm going to put a half a cup of 1% milk and two tablespoons of just plain white vinegar. And just give it a little swish. And in five minutes, I'm going to show you how you start seeing the seed bubble now. It's going to curdle and we're going to continue with our dressing. Just pulled our little egg cups out of the oven. Look how beautiful they are. You saw how simple and easy. No, nothing really extra required. I definitely like having these like this will pull right out, but right now they're so hot. And look how cute they are. I mean, come on. Oh, it's hot. Oh, they burn. Plus, I need to put some tripod. But there they are, 12 of them. They look delicious and zero smart points. Let's get back to that ranch, shall we? These, co oh, these cooked for, I want to say 18 minutes, and I did check them. So that's what they cooked, baked for. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very thick. So we have our buttermilk. Next, we're going to put our seasoning. And if you go on to my blog, Dish with Dia Blog Spot, you will see I have a few different recipes yes. up there. You just, you just, um, it's like parsley, garlic, dried onion. The key though is this powdered buttermilk that we're using for one point. So you put that in. And there's onion, salt, and pepper, and some dill, and some chives. Again, you can make up your own powder. You could buy the little packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. That would work as well. I've just been enjoying coming up with my own. With what I have on hand. Give that a mix so there's no clumps. Now you could put mayo in this. I choose not to. I just don't feel it needs it. That's just my choice though. If you like mayo, please put it in. I'm going to put about a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Normally I drain it, but I just... Don't have to, and I am eyeballing this. Because on my plan, it's zero. If you're on green, I would definitely measure. So that's about a half cup, give or take. And, which I've never done before, we'll put some xanthan gum. Just like a quarter teaspoon to see if we can thicken this up a little bit. And just give it a whiz. Try to do a little bit neater than I am. There's a lot of stuff in this film, I apologize. This was a last minute idea to do a little prep for you guys, so it's a little bit of a hot mess, but you know, it is what it is. You guys seem to enjoy my hot messes. Mm. 
Now we're gonna let this sit for about, I'm gonna say two hours. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on. And I'm gonna really give it a good shake. It's actually, with that xanthan gum, it definitely appears much thicker. You can see that. Wow, I'm a little bit happy with that. Let's see the effect of the taste, Daddy. Mm -mm. Ooh, a little bit more salt. I'm glad I tasted that. There we go. So this is our quick zero point ranch on blue and purple. Green, of course, you'd have to count. No, it's actually, if you ate all of this, you'd have to count it, but I'm not eating the whole jar because that half a cup of milk was four points, but I'm not eating all of this. This is, I'll have a couple of tablespoons at a time. All right, put that in the fridge. It's ready for the week. Let's go undo those eggs, shall we? All right, let's unmold our egg cups. You see how easy that just popped out? You see, this is why I love them. No muss, no fuss. And look, all in your belly, not on the ring. So we love these here at the Dish with D House because we love easy dishes. I throw them in my sink, they wash up beautifully. You have a dozen of these little delicious quiche cups, I call them. Zero points on all plans because I used egg beaters. Win win. I'm prepped for breakfast. I just prepped. I did do another head so I do have two heads of celery here all chopped ready to go all clean and sometimes you get those little leafy tops I don't like to eat it unless I'm putting it in a soup or a salad or something but I don't have anything planned this week so I'm going to throw it in the ranch dressing I figure how big can that be I'm not going to waste it so I'll just throw it in the weight see that's the whole idea we don't want to waste much we want to get every bang for our buck then you gotta add a little nice crunch to the dressing and not any calories. Let me tell you, that xanthan gum made all the difference. Smoothies, dressings, you name it. All right, this is ready to go. My celery is ready to go. My egg cups are ready to go. And my eggs are ready to go and we have one more hold on and my boneless skinless chicken is ready to go so that required very little of my time but look at these things i have ready one two three four five things ready to go took me about 40 minutes to get it all done while this was cooking i was doing this it just just shows you can fit in a little prep don't make it complicated. This is about as much as I'll do. Sometimes I'll even prep a dessert, but not this week. This is what I'm prepping for me on the purple plan, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little food prep with me this day, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you do any of these kinds of preps. This is, this is about the most you'll get from me is this kind of prep, but I thought I'd share it with you, and if you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know. Have a great day and we will prep another day.